We always have the same dialogue of between each other in our work process. So it's it's basically wherever we are individually interacting with each other and like having a common fantasy world and interacting through that like a uh, responding to each other as a way of working. Yeah, it's um, very improvised initially. Like we always start from improvisation. And then we edit a lot, and then we improvise it's with curated. edits. <laughs> so it's a back and forth. It's a conversation between improvising together, editing together, and kind of regurgitating this process. Using and, and also nothing is sacred, so we don't really value any material more than other material. So we have kind of a uh, um, no. We don't. We don't have a bar where we put good music and bad music. Now we're about humor. <laughs> I just wrote a paper about humor. So. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of uh, we're both in graduate school. So, um, we're both doing PhDs. And what uh, university, yeah. what kind of uh, graduate program? I'm at CalArts getting a doctorate in performer okay. composer, which is where your composition and performance practices are inseparable. Okay. And also to become a teacher. Okay, and you? I'm at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm four years out of five in a PhD in electronic music and um, a PhD multimedia. PhD on electronic music? Yeah. Or in electronic music? Multimedia electronic music. Okay. And experiments. And what is your, your topic more spe spe specifically uh, about? Um, uh, I guess I guess my thesis project is sort of uh, making a solo multimedia control system to perform solo, or sometimes I do stuff. So with you want to get rid of her? No, <laughs> no, it's for it's okay, for okay. it's for us as well. to go back to school after well we we met in school and we both are classically trained and kind of from that in a way I think we found each other and have a lot in common because we were very frustrated by classical music and practicing all the time and this importance that's played on virtuosity and, and who makes these physical decisions physical virtuosity physical and mental and control historical what instruments were you uh, piano and violin, violin. <laughs> So we've We're never actually played <laughs> piano and violin together. <laughs> we keep <laughs> threatening to, but we d haven't. Yet. So, so actually, you you do something totally different mm -hmm. from what you learned at the beginning. So yes. w w the path is to 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 destroy kind of frustration from academic and music, or yes. wh wh what's the the sense yeah. of your escape rebellion? Escape. escape. But escape. then we both like doing music, obviously. Yeah. So it's like love hate, and it's. Uh, yeah. But once you take away all of these things that everyone else tells you are important, then you find new things that maybe what attracted us to music in the first place, we still like in music, but it's not when we have to practice a technique a lot, or it's not when we have to wear a certain outfit and behave in a controlled way. So it's kind of finding the essence of the musical practice that we like by eliminating all the stuff we didn't like. Oh, oh. We didn't first talk about how frustrated we were. We actually talked, or we intersected because someone put us on the same Halloween concert back to back. And so, who played first? I was playing. First. Kristen played, and then I was. We were like, why don't we play 
let, let's overlap and then piano overlap. Violin. Oh no, two computers. No. <laughs> two computers or Electronic. sampler. I had a sampler okay. and she had a computer. And so um, you and Mari were doing classical music. We were already interested no, we were in electronic. No, we were already in electronic music okay. program at this point. It's um, complicated. So we were in classical yeah. music school and then we quit. And then we went to Mills College in Oakland which is known for being experimental electronic music It was music the San place. Francisco Tate Music Center in the 1960s. Okay. And so we both went there, and then we didn't know each other, but we were booked to play, and then we played, and I was fading out, and she was fading in, and we were really excited about those And then it sounded seconds. good together, and we were like, this is exciting, who are you? So that's how we met. Um, we met in music. So then, we then you fell in love. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> And when we're playing music, the, the music itself behaves like a dialogue. So we're not, we, we talk about what we want to do abstractly, but then when it's happening, I think we communicate more musically. Yeah, we usually are working, and we both have a computer, and we're working in either in headphones or in the air. So sometimes we're working separately, but we're always listening to each other off and on, and then going in and working alone, but then coming back out and listening to, and then putting things together. Um, but yeah, some it, it's a lot of at this point, especially. But it was always from the beginning, partially subconscious or some kind of like tuning in, in some way that I don't think we have with anyone else. So really, we only play music to have fun. 